Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry I forgot about you guys for a minute. Um, I was home in LA for a few weeks and I just forgot that I have a YouTube channel. Um, anyways, I wanted to make a video about some of my favorite like closet staples, like some of my fashion favorites um, in my closet. Just because I get so many questions on Instagram about like where I like to shop and like where a lot of my basic pieces are from because like I don't really wear like crazy outfits, if that makes sense. Like I have a very basic style, like I just like always want to be comfortable. So I wear a lot of the same things or variations of the same things and I wear like a lot of black, a lot of tank tops, a lot of like long sleeve shirts like this, leggings and stuff like that. But I wanted to just kind of like show you guys some of my favorite things, where I get them, talk about my favorite stores and where I shop because people always ask me and in the moment I can never like remember where I shop, if that makes sense. Like I'll tell someone like Zara, but then there's like other places I forget about. So I really had to think it through and kind of like narrow it down to like where I actually buy stuff from, like where are my favorite places to shop. and talk to you guys about these things that I love. Um, I'm not gonna be talking about shoes, but I just kinda wanted to talk about my style because it's been changing a lot. Um, I, over the past year, have lost a lot of weight. Um, it wasn't something I intentionally tried to do. I don't work out, I haven't worked out in years, so it wasn't like I just started working out, I don't diet, I haven't dieted at all. Um, so it wasn't something like I intentionally was trying to do or was even aware of and then um, Over the past like few months. I've realized like a lot of my clothes are like really big on me I've had to buy like new bras because my boobs have gone down three cup sizes um, I've had to buy new jeans because I was like a 30 like 29 30 um, I think like in January I was like a 30 maybe even 31 jean size which like I never really talked about size but like now I'm just like just so you guys are aware um, and now I'm wearing like size 27 sometimes 26 which is like so crazy um, and just overall like I have been able to like wear things that like I didn't like wear before but not really because back in January and February I thought I was like hot shit like I thought I looked so good I thought I was in shape everything and since then I've lost like 30 pounds um, and I think I just like feel a lot better in like outfits and I just like like the way I look and things differently now And I just feel a lot better and more comfortable, but like I didn't have any like Confidence issues back then because I really was just like thought I was amazing But I think now looking back. I'm just like, oh my god, like I was so much bigger then um, but it's just been like recently, like the past two months I've been getting so many questions and DMs about like, oh my god, did you lose weight? Like, how did you do it? Like I notice it so much in my face, my arms, obviously my boobs and my my whole body like is changing and it's like crazy because is it like was I losing baby fat? Like I'm 21, I'm almost 22 and I don't work out and I don't diet so I'm like what happened? <laughs> I don't know if that's like TMI or you care but um, because I've lost weight I've had to really like think about what in my closet I love enough to like repurchase in like my size or like what I've been buying um, because a lot of my old clothes that I used to like don't fit me so um, obviously Lululemons are something I wear like almost every day but I'm not gonna show you guys every day or show you every pair I own um, but I did want to just mention that Lululemons are a staple I'm not gonna be showing you guys and holding them all up but if you are looking for Lululemons or wondering which ones I wear, I always wear the Align. Those are my favorite because they're so comfortable and soft and just like stretchy and amazing um, and so flattering. But I also have a lot of the Wonder Under. But the Wonder Under I like for right now because it's freezing in Chicago. It's like 40 degrees, sometimes a little lower. It was snowing like yesterday um, and they're super thick. So I like wearing those if I'm going outside because they're so... Um, just thick and nice and warm, I guess. But I made a list of the stores I shop from just so I could like tell you so that way you guys know it, write it down so you don't ask me anymore. Just kidding. Um, but my, the main places I shop are Zara, Aritzia, Brandy Melville every once in a while. I probably go like twice a year, maybe three times a year because I don't have it in Chicago, but if I'm in like LA or New York, I'll stop in. I don't always find something, but sometimes I do find good stuff. Lululemon, obviously, um, 
Cotton Citizen is one of my favorite brands for jeans and like this is from Cotton Citizen. Um, Joe Brown for tank tops and Pretty Little Thing. I'm not gonna mention anything from Pretty Little Thing because there's, I haven't really shot from them recently, but I do, like if I'm looking for just like inexpensive little basics or like cute top, like I'll go to Pretty Little Thing because I don't really shop at like H&M or Fashion Nova or Forever 21. So Pretty Little Thing is like my affordable clothing website that I go to. So I'm not gonna talk about shoes, but I did wanna mention something about bags. Small bags are my thing. I, if you've watched any of my recent videos where I talked about like my new Balenciaga bags or like my Dior bag, like small bags are it. And I really die for them. And I think like in January when I got my Birkin, that was amazing. I love my Birkin, but it's like, it feels too big when I carry it now. Like, I just feel like it's so massive, even though it's like not even that massive. Um, but my staple for the past little while has been my Chanel um, classic flap. I honestly feel like this is getting so dirty and like gross. <laughs> but I just, I wear it with like this, like double um, instead of just one. I am so obsessed with it. I literally like need this bag in like every color even though like the black and silver is my favorite combination. But I don't know if it's because like I'm smaller than I used to be, where I used to think like small bags looked like they made me look bigger, which is kind of true. But I'm so obsessed with small bags now. This is everything I need. I don't like to carry a bunch of nonsense with me anymore. Um, I've had this bag for almost eight years. And in the past like seven years, I'd probably carried it 10 times. Like it was like my special occasion bag. Like I just like didn't really use it. Um, but I've used this bag every day for like the past like month maybe um, and I'm obsessed with it and I'm not saying you should go run out and get a Chanel bag but I'm just like letting you know what my vibe is right now and it's like small bags and like Chanel bags but um, I figured I would just share this with you guys because it's literally my like go-to bag. Um, I'm so scared though because it's lambskin and it's not like the um, calf skin so I'm kind of like it's pretty delicate but also like I've had it for eight years and it's like not looking too terrible um and I just like I want to get use out of it like I want to get use out of my bags because like, I can never use it again but I'm obsessed so anyways moving on to the clothes if you are familiar with my Instagram and you've been following me for a while you guys probably know like I love wearing black I almost always wear black like this is ironic because I'm not wearing black right now but black is like my go-to color and I always just like didn't think anything of it like it was just like I only wear black I only wanted to wear black but recently as I've been like losing weight I don't hate the way colors look on me anymore I even used to like hate the way like blue jeans looked on me whether they were light wash or dark wash like I just wanted to wear black always because they felt the most comfortable and I mean I like the way it looks and I still love the way wearing black looks, I guess. Like, it's very my style still. But I've definitely been able to wear, like, lighter colors or, like, reds and stuff and not feel fat, if that makes any sense. Um, so it's, like, kind of cool to, like, have more, like, variety when I'm, like, putting on an outfit. Um, so now I wanted to, like, show you guys, like, some of my favorite pieces because it's not all just black anymore. Um, so for this shirt... I just wanted to mention this is like my favorite long sleeve shirt ever i also have it in this green color and i got these from cotton citizen i'll link them down below they're they are so expensive just really quickly but they're the best quality shirt i've like ever felt and worn they're so soft so stretchy so comfortable and i they're 90 dollars online but i actually got these at a warehouse sale from cotton citizen and i paid 25 dollars for them so that's like why i bought them and like i'm debating because they fit so well and i like love the way they look and they feel they're so just like stretchy and comfortable and high quality i want to buy more in different colors but like for 90 dollars, i like don't think i can do it so i'm just like <sighs> i'm just debating it. i debate it like every single day um but anyways i have this red one because this was like the last one they had in red they literally have like a few left like there's probably five and one of them is like yellow and i don't like yellow so that's random anyways this is a size extra small. I've never been an extra small in my entire life ever. I'm usually like a medium large and now I'm like a small medium. This is extra small because I like it like cropped and tight. Um, I absolutely love it. It fits so well. If I buy more, I'm going to buy this size. But I also have this one and they had it in a medium. And I like wearing this one um, like tied up because it's a little bit big around on my waist. Like it doesn't look like it's like fitted if that makes any sense. Um, I'll insert a picture. I just like 
absolutely love these shirts. I have so many shirts similar to this from like Target, Pretty Little Thing, Naked Wardrobe, and none of them like fit the way these fit and are as comfortable as these ones. So they're definitely a staple. And like I said, like color, wow, go me. Also from Cotton Citizen, they're jeans I'm obsessed with. Um, these are the high split jeans. So I found out about these jeans because Kylie Jenner was wearing a pair of them and I bought them. They were $295, which is so crazy for jeans. Um, but I'm obsessed with them. They're like, I've worn these on my Instagram a lot, but they have like slits here. I forget what color these are because I have four different colors of them. And in one pair, I have two sizes. So I have five pairs of these jeans. Um, and they have like the split on them, but I have all sizes 30. I think these are 30, right? 30, oh no, 29. So some of them are 30, some of them are 29, which is so annoying because now I'm like a 27 and they're all too big on me. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do with them because like these are my favorite jeans ever. And I spent so much money. Like think about buying five pairs of jeans for $300, it's $1,500. I mean, it obviously wasn't all at once. And one pair of them I got at their sample sale for like, $50 I think so you know but I still spent so much money on jeans and it like just kind of sad that I don't fit, in, fit into any of them anymore so right now I'm like debating which color I want to buy in my size um, I think I'm gonna do the washed black just because like I love black and I have like a lot of blue jeans now but I just did want to mention like if you're willing to splurge on jeans or you're curious about these jeans that I've been wearing for like a year they're all cotton citizen and that was like the only jean I would wear. But recently, um, because I don't feel fat anymore, <laughs> I've been really into blue jeans and like boyfriend jeans. So these ones I got from Aritzia. These are Levi's. Um, I think these are size like 20, I don't know what size these are actually. How do I find a size? Oh, okay, so these are 26 waist, 30 leg. I think both of these are. So for Levi's, I'm a 26 waist and 30 length um so these ones are i forget what they're called i think they're just like the stretch skinnies carly bible is wearing these so i bought them they looked really good on her i'll link them down below they're pretty um just like basic they're like kind of skinny jeans but like not super super tight which i like they're just kind of like a cooler fit so i really like those right now and then these ones are the ones i got from aritzia and they're just like these distressed jeans and i really like wearing these jeans with like my air force ones which are so dirty i need a new pair um, but yeah, I've really been into like Levi's and stuff like that. Another pair of jeans I recently got are from also Aritzia. They're from the brand Denim Forum. They're these black skinny jeans. They're like mid-rise, but I'm obsessed with the front. I don't know if you can see it, but they're like a tie up. And I just think it's really cool. It's really different. They're really flattering. I have these in a size 27. They fit perfectly. Um, and yeah, so these have been like my new jeans because I can't really wear my Cotton Citizens anymore as much as I love them just because none of them fit me. So I've really been into like the Levi's or if I want to wear black jeans, I wear these. Um, also from Aritzia, I've really been into biker shorts, which like I used to hate my legs more than everything just because like I always felt like that was like my, that was like always just my insecurity and like I hated wearing shorts, but now like I don't mind it. Like if I'm pale, I don't want to wear shorts or anything. And like my legs aren't perfect by any means. Like I don't work out, obviously, like a house that I like, but I do not hate wearing shorts. So these are from the brand TNA, and these are the seven inch equator short. Um, I have a few pairs of these in gray. I just think they're so comfortable. I'll insert a picture. I do like these, and it's kind of cool that I can wear shorts now and not like cringe at myself. Also from that picture, this is from Brandy Melville. This has been like my most recent like favorite jacket. Like I go through phases with zip ups. I had like a favorite one from H&M, like a black zip up from H&M and I was obsessed with it and I wore it like every day. Um, but I really love this one because it's like cropped kind of. It's like one size fits all, but it's like fits a little smaller. But I love wearing this with like jeans or just like with the shorts and with a tank top. Um, it's so comfortable. It's like so, so, so crazy soft. And I just like that it's gray. Really, really like that. Okay, next I want to talk about bodysuits. So when I was in Paris, um, I went to Zara and I found this bodysuit. I'm so obsessed with it, this color. Um, and I just bought this one. I got it in a medium and then I went home or went back to the hotel and I put it on and I was so obsessed. So the next day we went back to Zara and I bought it in white. I bought it in black. And then I bought it in nude. 
and I was so obsessed. They were literally my staples. I would just wear these with like my Levi's. Um, so I bought them all in medium and they fit like perfectly. Like they fit like a glove. I'll insert pictures. Um, and then the past like month or two, maybe just even a month, I noticed my boobs were getting so much smaller. And so they didn't like fill it out as much. And my waist is getting a lot smaller too. So I went to Zara when I was in LA and I bought it in a small, the nude one, but this was the only color they had in small left. So right now this is the only one that fits me, which is so crazy to think that I'm not even like a medium, but it's probably just like stretched out from like how big my boobs were when I was in Paris for whatever reason. Um, and like this one still has a tag on it because I bought two black ones because I was like, oh, that's a staple. I'll use it forever. But it like, it fits, but it's like not, it doesn't hug my body the way it did before. And it's just like a little bit loose. So, and I don't wear these with bras, so it's just kind of like not as comfortable just because I feel like my boobs are just like there. I don't really know, um, but I do love them. They're staples. I'll link them down below. I know they still have most of the colors. I think this is the only color that sold out. Of course, it's my favorite color and they don't have it anymore, but I'm going to try to buy all the other colors in a size small just so that way I have them in my collection or in my closet because I'm so obsessed with them. They're so comfortable. They're so easy to just throw on with jeans and I think they look so flattering. So I saw like Rosie Huntington Whiteley wearing the nude bodysuit like days after I bought it from Zara and I was like, I did good. Okay, last thing I wanted to talk about some tank tops. Um, that's like one of my most gotten questions, most received questions is where I buy my tank tops from. Um, because most of my tank tops I don't wear bras from, but I need like something that will support them and hold them in place. Um, I mean, I do wear bras with most of my tank tops, but like I prefer not to, <laughs> especially if I'm just like around the house, so. I do have some from Brandy Melville that I got years ago that I still wear and love and some from like American Apparel that I still wear and love but um, I don't think I can like I wouldn't be able to find links to either of those so I didn't want to like show you guys those tank tops um, but a lot of the time that is what I'm wearing so I can't like find a link or anything but um, the past few months I've really been into Joa Brown I found out about them from Devin Brugman who like if you know her from Instagram she has really big boobs also <laughs> so it was like I just like I trusted her opinion um, so this is just like one of them. I have like the racer back. This is a v-neck. I don't know if you can see. Yeah And then I have like a racer back white one um, This is also from them. This is like the first thing I bought from them. It's like off the shoulder I wear this all the time. It fits so well. It's so flattering um, It just really holds my boobs in place because it's such a thick material And even though my boobs are three cup sizes bigger than they were like in like a year ago They're still like not small by any means. So I still have to like keep that in mind Sometimes I feel like my boobs are like small because <laughs> they're so much smaller. But then I'm like, I put something on, I'm like, wait, 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 no. Um, but I ordered more tank tops from them because a lot of these, a lot of the tank tops I ordered were medium large, which are now just like too big. They don't fit like the way I want them to. Like they don't really like hug my body. As you can tell, I really like things that hug my body, <laughs> you know? Um, so anyways, um, I ordered some more in size. I think I ordered extra small to small and small to medium just to like figure it out which size works best because like this is a medium large and it like fits it's just not like tight enough to hold my boobs in the way i want them to to like replace a bra but i just wear this around the house so it doesn't really matter um but i do love joa brown they are really pricey compared to like other tank tops like brandy melville or like forever 21 or like whatever um but they fit so well and they're such good quality they're so soft so stretchy and i just like really really like them so i don't mind splurging so like obviously like most of these things like nothing was like super cheap um bizarre body suits were like 20 bucks so that's actually pretty cheap but for the jeans for my tank top for like these long sleeve shirts like i am willing to invest in them because i'm gonna wear them so much and um i want them to last so that is just kind of like something that I keep in mind. Um, I know not everyone is willing to spend like $300 on jeans or like $60 on a tank top. And like I used to not be able to do that too or like want to, I guess. Um, but now that I'm like at this size, I kind of am like willing to treat myself and be like, wow, you did that. You deserve some bomb ass pieces and stuff like that. Um, and also when I used to buy tank tops from Forever 21, I would have to buy like five of the same one if I liked it just because like they would just like lose their shape or they would fall apart and I would just like, it's kind of like disposable, you know? Um, so I'd rather like splurge on pieces that I'm going to be able to keep for a while and that are going to stay great quality. Um, so yeah, 
Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them down below or like DM me on Instagram. I'm not the best about checking my Instagram DMs. Sorry, um, but you can leave me a comment for sure and I will see that and get back to you. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye.